Hey, it's Greg with the Reality REI Tip of the Day coming to you from Rush Hour over in Garner, North Carolina. Good, fun race place. And the uh, tip of the day is a question I'm often asked, do I list my properties when I resell them? If I'm rehabbing a place and I, you know, I'm going to put it on the market, do I sell it myself? Do I use a pay-for-fee service? Do I list it with a real estate agent? Um, up in Northern Virginia, my wife is a real estate agent, so I will often list the properties with her. But what would you do if you didn't have someone such as a wife to, to list the properties? I, when I'm investing down in North Carolina, I do use a pay-for-fee service in some areas, and sometimes I use a real estate agent. It really just depends on the scenario, but I do not use a pay-for-fee service if it shows up or it looks in MLS like it's a pay-for-fee service. Make sure you always offer um, the full 3% or 6% or whatever is typical in the area, um, but also make sure um, the, most of the pay-for-fee services don't look like a regular listing. So you're going to want to make sure that it looks just like a regular listing, and that's why often I'll use a real estate agent, like I'll buy homes in New Jersey, Norfolk, and other other areas, and I always use a real estate agent on the back end. Uh, you might be able to get them to do a discount. Um, I use, try to use a Remax agent or someone that's ex experienced that's going to give you a good service and can tell you what the real values are in an area. And then uh, if they're giving you a good service, I always pay them a full commission in the beginning, and then I might cut it back if I start doing multiple deals. So that's, again, just what I do. Um, just a quick tip, and I uh, hope you make it a great day.